My name is Brian Pugh. I'm from the Land Resources at Tucson Electric Power. And today we're here to talk about invasive grasses in the Sonoran Desert. The two main invasive grasses we have in the Sonoran Desert are Bermuda grass and buffalo grass. The reason why they're both dangerous is they promote fire culture within the Sonoran Desert, which didn't evolve with the fire culture. So these are, have become a major issue with, this, with our saguaro populations and our native plant populations. Well, let's look at the difference between the two. Main one, the, the Bernita grass is a fairly low lying. It's rhizomal growth, so it kind of spreads out and is basically very hard to remove because of all the rhizomal growth in it. And when it goes to the dormant stage, which is now, it has a very light tan color. Next to us is buffalo grass. This is almost going dormant now because of the rains have made it a little, probably a little greener. But in, when it goes into a full dormant stage, it's golden brown, much higher in height. And you can clearly see the, the flower structure is like a bottle brush. And then there's two more identifiers that are very clear for, for, uh, for buffalo grass. Where the leaf meets the stem, let's get a better example. Where that leaf meets the stem, there are these little hairs there, and that's basically on the ligule, and that's called the hairy armpit is what they refer to it as. Also, you have the, they have the bottle brush flower type, but if you, when you remove that flower type, the stem, it's called the rachis, it's very bumpy. So that's a very clean signifier for buffalo grass along with the hairy ligule. Removal of both of these, this is much, you can do it chemically, but if you're doing it physically, this is a lot more work with the, because of the rhizomal character of the Bermuda grass. But buffalo grass, it's very straightforward. They have a very strong central stem. You basically dig around it and remove basically the whole entire root system. And you can use this with a shovel or pry bar or mattox. Once you take all this material, you put it into a trash, trash bag and dispose of it to the, to the landfill. To make sure, because these are all of these are windborne um, uh, um, uh, plants, so that's why you want to remove the seed heads and the entire plant itself, and all of the actual uh, root system, so it doesn't come back. And that's basically the difference between Bermuda and buffalo grass.